All right, All right easy, right, easy, 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 easy. We're here uh, Wednesday, September 2nd. Uh, we've got uh, three days, two days now left into the holiday weekend. It's getting real thin out there. Yesterday we didn't do our wrap-up, uh, but we had a big sell-off. We talked about this for the last eight trading days prior to yesterday. We said break 10, 15, you're going to go down 25 points. Guess what? We broke 10, 15. We hit 90, 991 today. We basically hit our target. Uh, you know, that again, 1040 being the top. And uh, here we are back to that 990. Now there's support, all, some support all the way down to 975 on a 20 day chart. But uh, again, this 20 day range, 975 to uh, 1040. So that's where we are today. We basically uh, had a little, uh, we held that 991 area off the open and then uh, traded back to 999 and change and then sold off here into the close again. We were ripping the, uh, still not closed, 994 here, but we went down to 992. And uh, we had one small trade today. That's right, one small trade for two points in the morning. We got long, wrote it 94 to 96. It went up to 99. We missed the last three points. So that was it. It was very slow out there. I didn't do one other trade on the spoos today. Gold was ripping. Oil uh, continues to uh, fall. And uh, banks couldn't get off the mat. So what do you see in Eric? Uh, again, banks down another dollar, BKX. Gold uh, watches, baby, gold watches. It's all about the gold watches. That's so the trade, about, baby. We're all about the gold watches. I hear you. I hear you. So, but, but seriously, we're just, we're, we're, you know, we had this big sell-off trend day yesterday. Today was a consolidation day. Uh, 1,008 was a pivot. We traded nowhere near the pivot all day. And uh, just really not a lot going on today. Well, as you said, like, they're making it a September to remember. The bottom line is they, what did they do? It took a, I was reading a, some, some charts last night. It, we meandered for, what, about 15 days? And they yeah. basically negated all that in about one hour yesterday. So, yeah. as you said, as you said, the, you, the floor traders trading the futures in the pit in Chicago favor the short side no matter what the market's doing. Because gravity, guys, gravity, it can go up slowly, and when it falls, bam, it falls quick. Well, it's, you know, and the reason that is, Eric, is because the boat is always loaded. Uh, you, you know, you get the most pain on however the boat is tilted, and right, right now everybody is long. So, uh, uh, and, and, and in general, markets, everybody is always long. So when it does sell off, whether it's stocks, futures, commodities, it doesn't matter. When they sell off, everybody bails at the same time, and that's what you had happen yesterday. What, now, nothing's resolved. Your, I, listen, I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you. Tell all the viewers what is your uh, uh, opinion of them trying to not allow you to use the short ETFs in the IRA account anymore. I don't know. I, I honestly, you sent me a couple articles. I haven't read enough about it to to um, to give you a. Uh, well, now just, I have an IRA account. If I want to get short, I can't get short. Well, you can't buy you can't buy a long ETF. Is that what they're saying? I didn't really see it. So you can't buy the double short, and you can't buy the inverse. Why? Because they're, they're of the, why? Because of the leverage component. I mean, you right? Because they want to they want to do me a favor. They want to keep me from losing my money. Well, can you can you still buy can you still buy the uh, spy and the QQQ? Uh, you know, can you buy the sure? QIB? You can do the options, right? All right but for so. the average retail Joe, they've been banging these ETFs. I was uh, listening to uh, your favorite channel today. They said the uh, average volume went from 40 million to 7 million in the DXO in the last yeah. month. Yeah. Well, again, it's it's very crowded, and 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 I don't know. You know, when they're looking out for your best interest, maybe that's a warning sign. So uh, again, I, I I'm not well educated enough on the subject. I don't get too involved with the double and triple ETFs. I think a lot of them are. Uh, I don't know enough. There's too many of them. I, I mean, you almost need an analyst in your uh, own portfolio just to track these 700, 800 ETFs that are out there. I, I have, and who, what's inside all of them? It's very vague sometimes. You can find the information online, but I'd rather trade the real. I'd rather trade the futures. I'd rather trade the commodities uh, if I want to be involved in uh, making uh, directional or uh, non-directional bets. So. Uh, again, ETFs um, are fine, but uh, you better understand what uh, makes up uh, the ETF always and uh, understand your risk. And again, I don't have, uh, I'm basically answering you that I don't know what this is all about, so uh, I don't know, Eric. Be careful. All right, well, I just had to give you the heads up now. It looks like we're going to just sit here and churn. We'll see how many bottom pickers come in overnight. Yeah, what's, we got the Fed uh, minutes. The Fed minutes 
the Fed minutes were awfully glossy. I think overnight again, we're, we're you know as long as you stay above 989, you got to be long, and if you're below it 989, we'll run to 975. That's kind of the way I see it. You want to be short from 1007 to 1015. So short below 989, long above 990. And uh, short up to 1,015. Now, over 1,020, you got to get long again. And that's about it. That's the, the guidelines for the next two days. Uh, we have jobs report, the big number, on Friday. And uh, the volume would be big right around that number at 530 on, here on the West Coast. And after that, we're done. So that's it. We'll be back tomorrow. Hope you have a great day. Oil down further. and uh, Smokeless cigar, baby. Gold up big. Peace. Smoke